In this video we're going to look at the probability of winning the lottery and so we'll look at the Powerball game. So um, first I'm just going to show you a quick clip so that you understand how it works. In case you didn't know I want to show you how to win with a Powerball lottery ticket. So I'm just going to play this video clip so just watch this really quick. You'll notice that there are one, two, three, four, five white numbers and one Powerball number. Um, you you have 69 white numbers and they come out one at a time you've got to match all five and then you've got 26 um, Powerball numbers and you've got to match that one out of 26 okay so we'll just play this so you get an idea what it looks like Party number tonight is 69 that's followed by 45 up next we have 61 your next number is three, and your final white ball for this Tuesday evening is 49. Now for the mega ball, that mega ball number is nine. Again, Sunday's winning numbers are 69, 45, 61, 3, 49, and the gold mega ball is nine. So I hope you enjoyed that. So we need to figure out the probability of winning the million dollars. That's matching all the five white balls. And then we'll figure out the probability of winning the jackpot. That's matching all five white balls plus the power ball, right? So the tickets cost two dollars per play. Um, you pick five white balls numbered between one and sixty-nine, and one Powerball number between one and twenty-six. So just part A, we don't care about the Powerball, right? Part A, we're just looking at the sixty-nine white balls. Okay. So we're going to start off by buying our ticket. We bought our ticket here, and our five white balls are our five our five numbers that we chose. We're choosing numbers. So choose whatever numbers you like. I'm going to choose seven. 10, 26, 41, and 69. So those are my five numbers that I've chosen. Okay, that's my five numbers that I've chosen on the ticket. The five white, white, I hope the five white balls will be those, then I'll win a million dollars, right? So here's the container with um, 69 white balls. So we've got 69 white balls. In this container, there's lots of there's 69 white balls in here. Okay, here they are, 69 white balls. Just imagine. Okay, and out of the container, okay, comes the first ball. Here's the first ball. Now, tell me, what do I want that first ball to be? What number do I want it to be? You tell me. Do you want it to be seven? That'd be good. Does it have to be seven? The balls don't have to be in order. Okay, if they had to be in order, then the probability would be way more. They don't have to be in order. Okay, the, the technical term for that is we want a combination, we don't need a permutation. They don't have to be in the order we selected them, they just have to be the same. Okay, and they can be mixed up. So this could be 69 or it could be 10, or it could be 41, or 7, or 26. This could be any of those numbers. When that first ball comes out, I'm happy if it's any one of those five. So what's the probability that that first ball will keep me in the, in the, ch in, keep me um, with a chance of winning a million dollars? What's the probability that that keeps me with a chance of winning a million dollars. Can you think of it? There are five ways to match it out of how many? I don't mind if that's 7, 10, 26, 41, or 69. Could be any one of those five numbers out of how many possible numbers? Out of 69. Okay? Could be 5 out of 69, right? Okay, so that's the first ball. And then they all get mixed around, another ball comes out, and here's the second ball. Here it is, right? So the first ball, I'm just going to give it, I'm just going to imagine it was 10, okay? So I had five chances, it could be any of those, but just for fun, just, just so we can play the game, I'm going to play, pretend that that was 10, okay? And now the next ball comes out, right? Now what's the probability that the next ball will keep me in with a chance of winning a million dollars? 
What's the probability? Can you figure it out? See if you can figure out the probability that that second ball will keep me in with a chance of winning a million dollars. I don't mind if that second ball is 7 or 26 or 41 or 69. It could be any of those four numbers out of how many? It could be any of those four numbers out of how many? Not 69 because look, one ball has already come out. Now we have not 69 white balls in there, we have 68 white balls in there, right? So this ball is out of 68 and I have four chances to match it out of 68. I have four chances to match it out of 68. Okay? Four chances. That's why when you're playing this game, oftentimes your first, you the first or second ball, they'll oftentimes match up, and you're like, "Wow, I'm doing well, right?" Do you see how it's working? So let's imagine that that was one out of the four, and I'll pick, I'll just say that was the number sixty-nine, just to play the game, right? Now, I've got to match this one and this one. That those probabilities are that times that, okay? That times that, right? And um, um, let's see, these are independent events, like just because I got the first ball doesn't mean I'm going to get the second or not get it, like, like the fact that you get the next ball has no bearing on whether you actually got the first ball, okay, so they're independent events and that's why we can use the product formula, multiply the probabilities. So the balls are mixed up. Okay, by the way, how many balls are left in here now? After two balls have rolled out, how many are left in here? How many white balls? We started with 69 and then one was rolled out. And then we had 68 and one was rolled out. And so now we have 67 white balls. Okay, so we've got 67 white balls and this third ball needs to be what? What does that third ball need to be? It could be 7, 26, or 41. You've got three chances. Three chances to keep you on track to win a million dollars. So what's the probability of matching the third ball in the lottery? You've got three chances out of how many? 67, because there's 67 balls mixed up, right? So three chances of probability of matching that up is three out of 67. And that could be a 7, 20, or 26, or 41, right? So let's just play the game and pretend that um, it was 26, okay? So now we've got two numbers left, right? What's the probability of getting the next ball? Can you do it? Think about how many white balls are left in here now. And what numbers have you left to match up? So there were 67 before, now there's only 66 white balls in there, right? And you've got this ball has to be either 7 or it could be 41. Remember, it doesn't have to be in order. So you don't care if it's 7 or 41, one of those. That's giving you two chances out of 66, isn't it? So the fourth ball, the chances are 2 out of 66. Right? And so let's say one of those did match up. Let's say it was the number 7. Right? Now, what is the chance that you get the last ball? See if you can figure out the probability of getting the last ball. How many balls are left in the container? <laughs> it was 66 before. One was taken out. Now there's 65 left, right? 65 balls mixed up. One pops out. And you want that to be what? 
This time it has to be 41. That's why it's always so hard to get the last ball because there's only one number that's going to match out of 65. So a lot of times when you're playing this game, you're going to match the first, maybe the second, even the third, but it's really hard to get the fourth or fifth ball, right? Especially the fifth ball, hardest of all. And to get them all in a row, we're going to calculate that. It's 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 crazy. It's 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 not it's not worth it to be honest. So anyway, this one has to be 41, and that's only one chance out of 65. To get all five balls in a row, this event has to happen. You've got to get the first ball, the second ball, and the third ball, and the fourth ball, and the fifth ball. And the reason that, that um, just to understand a little bit further, remember, this ball could have been, you know, a 7, a 10, 26, 41, or 69. It didn't have to be. This first ball didn't have to be 10, right? So so it's not as if it's 1 out of 69 times 1 over 68 times 1 over 67. It doesn't have to be that way. Because there's lots of sequences that could work. Like this could be 7, 10, 26, 41, and 69. Or you could have a sequence of 26, 41, uh, 69, um, 10 and 7 and so there are multiple ways of winning right and so that's that's what accounts for uh, these numbers on the top in fact 5 times 4 is 20 times 3 is 60 times 2 is 120 there's actually 120 different ways of arranging those five balls okay um, so so there's 120 different um, permutations actually of those five balls. They don't have to be in order. And so that's why it's not just 1 over 69 times 1 over 68 times 1 over 67, right? Anyway, um, so if we multiply those out on a calculator, I'm going to input it as 5 over 69 um, times 4 over 68 times 3 over 67 times 2 over 66 times 1 over 65 okay so we get 0 0.000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 0 0.089. Okay, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. To get this decimal point over here, it would take 9 jumps. All right. So that is, in fact, 89 times um, 10 to the power of negative 9, or 89 over 10 to the power of 9, or 89 over 1 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 zeros. Okay. That's 89 in a billion. The chances are 89 in a billion. And if I was to simplify that, that's about 1 over what? 1 over something. Because he likes to give the odds. It's 1 in a million, it's 1 in 2 million, it's 1 in what? So I'm going to do this. 89 to 99 goes about goes once, and 89 into 100 goes about how many times? So I'm just going to go 100 over 89 and that's about 1.12 um, I'll just call it about 1.1 uh, uh, and there's all these zeros on the end so so it's about 1 in 11 million okay and uh, so I mean, to win a million dollars, your probability on that is you're, you're paying two dollars to try to win a million. The odds are one in 11 million. 
Um, not good odds. Very unlikely. And um, also bear in mind that 70% of lottery winners uh, spend all their money after the first five years and almost all are at the exact same level of happiness six months later okay so just a couple of things to bear in mind so see if you can press pause and do part B by yourself um, what is the probability of winning the jackpot match all five white balls plus the power ball see if you can do part B okay I'll do it with you now so you have to get all five white balls and also so this is one event and also the power ball okay now the power ball is drawn separately there's 26 um, colored balls power balls or whatever in a separate container right and that comes out and so that's separate from your five white balls, your one, two, three, four, five. So here's your five white balls, but here comes the power ball. Now remember there was 69 uh, white balls in a container, right? 69 of these guys, right? And you had to match five of them. The power balls is 26 and they're in a separate container. So, so the, what's the probability of just getting the power ball on its own? Probability is? one out of 26 right so you just got to match one out of 26 but we already calculated the probability of um, getting the power ball it was 89 out of um, what was that 1 billion right 89 in 1 billion right so the probability of getting the all five white balls and the power ball, these are two independent events. And so we can multiply, we can multiply this times this to get um, the answer, right? So the answer is it's, it's 89 over 26, 89 out of 26 billion, okay? Um, and what's that as one in something, right? Because we like to give our odds as one in a billion, one in a million, one in a trillion, one one in a something, right? So I'm going to estimate if I if I do this, if I go 89 into itself goes once, that's one. 89 into 260, then, right? So 260 um, over 89 gives us what? It's about 2.9. Um, 2.92 right so 89 is there and then we got 2.92 and those digits would 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 be placed there so 292 zero, 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 right so that's uh, 1 in 292 million that's your odds of getting the jackpot. One in 292 million. Once again, very unlikely. Um, and I'll just remind you, 70% of the winners lose their money after the first five years. And after the first six months, most of them are about the same level of happiness as they were um, before they won the thing anyway. So there we go. So in case you didn't believe me, uh, or believe your own skills that you've learned. If you go to the Washington State Lottery, you can see the odds of winning the jackpot is one in 292 million. I think we've we've calculated that right. And the odds of winning the million dollars is one in 11.7 million. We estimated one in 11 million. So you can see that uh, hopefully you can see you've learned something useful today.